Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video. Today we are going to speak regarding two uh, new le legendary mage heroes. Uh, they just uh, updated the Call of Dragons launcher and we are able to see what kind of skills and what kind of talent trees they have. First one is Bertrand, the Golden Child. He is from the League of Orders. And second one is Tohar, uh, Wit of Wilderberg from Wilderberg. First of all, we will be speaking regarding Bertrand, what kind of skill set and what kind of synergies Bertrand have. Uh, first of all, we need to mention that Bertrand, Bertrand is a flying hero, and there is like a couple of obvious uh, choices on which heroes uh, he will be great with. But until we will move forward, uh, let's speak regarding these skills, right? Uh, so the first skill, Entitled Rage, is a 1300 uh, skill damage factor skill and uh, Bertrand deals like uh, damage to the target legion and consumes all stacks of the golden mark, increasing damage dealt by 5%. So something is about golden mark, uh, I think the whole gameplay and whole synergies will be around golden, ma golden mark for Bertrand and we will find out in the end what the actually golden mark is. The second skill, when Bertrand deals hero skill damage, he gains one stack of golden mark for 5 seconds, maximum to 3 stacks. Each golden stack mark increases hero skill damage dealt by 4%. So we finally understand what the hell is a uh, golden mark. It's like uh, whenever you are dealing a uh, skill damage to the enemy, you are giving them some stack, which is called golden mark. Uh, this stack can be kept on the enemy legion for 5 seconds and maximum amount of stacks uh, can be attached is 3. So for the each stack is 4%. Uh, percent. So like hero skill damage dealt bonus up to 10%. Great, great uh, kind of synergy already is uh, like uh, we can see all like you are hitting enemies with the range. Uh, also if you will be able to stay alive longer you will be able to deal more damage. Okay. So third skill, all mage units in Bertrand Legion are getting 25 magic attack bonus and magic unit enemy defense penetration up to 10%. Okay, uh, the fourth skill uh, is that like attack and defense bonus up to 15%. Like there is always great to see like attack and defense bonus together. Uh, it's always better uh, rather than them being like only attack and only bonus. And I know uh, for peop players like me, for a free-to-play players, it's hard to awaken legendary heroes, but we still need to read. Basically, after awakening, Bertrand deals damage to the target legion and consumes all stacks. So basically, uh, instead of 5% uh, per golden mark stack, uh, 3%, I'm sorry, you will be getting 5% uh, per stack. Uh, for the golden map which will be uh and additional uh, 1500 damage rather than 1300 damage so like basically you are getting more damage so like the synergy around bertrand is all about golden mark i think longer the bertrand's legion will stay alive in the battlefield the more more damage they will apply i think it's a like pure old dps uh mage hero uh, like nothing really special right uh he's like in the same category as well in same category as Walder, as Lilia. So basically, as a as a, like a only difference between them, uh, like if we will be if we only will be speaking regarding mages, will be flying uh, aspect, flying hero. So mainly this means that the hero is very mobile, uh, which means that the hero is getting more additional heroes which uh, he can play with, right? So, like, obvious choices, like, it's not, not tested yet, nobody, like, I have not played it, as you can see, I didn't even have it for now, but I will have him for sure, but my guess, like, if I will have a guess regarding hero pairs, I think he will be amazing with Atheus. You know, like, again, flying hero stacks, uh, and, uh, like, Thea, and, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, <coughs> now, <clears throat> Thea and Bertrand will be amazing. Uh, simple as it, as soon as I finished reading the skill sets of the Bertrand, uh, I said the longer the, he will stay alive in the battlefield, more damage he will do. So, like, Thea is all about staying alive in the battlefield. This is my guess. Uh, I think Thea will be amazing, uh, Atheus will be amazing, and in general, I think uh, the hero is, like, especially good for the uh, League of Orders, uh, simply because uh, flying hero, Celestials, let's go, right? 
Celestials will be amazing with Bertrand and Thea. Uh, if you don't want to run uh, with Flying Heroes, I think he will be amazing with anything, honestly. Like Waldir for additional enemy legion uh, damage, uh, Welling for a sh defense penetration and crit rate, uh, Lilia with like basically all her damage. So uh, my guess uh, is that um, like Bertrand will be amazing with Thea, and Bertrand will be amazing amazing with. Uh, Atheus. Other than that, I think he will be fine uh, with anything else which we currently have. Uh, I won't gonna speak like what kind of artifacts. It's it's too early for to speak regarding like more stuff about uh, Bertrand. It feels we need to see more uh, more gameplay of him. So let's move on and let's speak with Dohar, he which is more kind of more interesting and unique uh, hero. He's a um, he or she or it is a mage garrison support unit uh, as a mage unit as a mage uh, legendary hero. Being at the garrison and being support is like very unique. So I'm pretty interested what kind of skill set uh, Dohar have. So let's dig uh, deep inside the skill set and read it, right? So first skill, Earth's Conduct, is a passive skill. Every After every five normal attacks, Dohar channels Rage of Plateau, dealing damage to the target Legion every second for up to five seconds. Moving interrupt channeling. So you are standing still. That's pretty unique. If you will move your legion whenever Dohar is uh, casting the skill, uh, this channel will be interrupt interrupted. So uh, and the it's like ticking damage, like a poison damage, up to five sec uh, five seconds. Damage factor to three hundred. Uh, so interesting. Uh, the regarding garrison skin increases the attack of Tohar's garrison army by 10% while they are garrisoning in city or stronghold and have 50% uh, more unit remaining. So like, yep, uh, magic uh, garrison hero, uh, welcome. This is a skill for the garrison, pretty useless for the battlefield or any PvP stuff or even PvE stuff. It's purely for defense and purely for garrison, which is interesting. Like we have infantry heroes, which are garrison heroes and new hero mage. Uh, new stuff is always welcome, right? Third skill, magic units into Hard Legion deal 10% uh, uh, more skill damage, but deals 5% less normal attack. Well, it's obvious, it's Tohar is not about normal attack, simply because uh, first skill, the main skill, uh, it means that you are standing still and you are not attacking enemies with normal attack, right? You are just channeling your skill uh, for like uh, 5 seconds, right? Uh, so, normal attack doesn't like doesn't really matter, not a big loss in my opinion, and you are getting uh, magic unit skill damage deal bonus up to 30%. The fourth skill, while channeling the Rage of Plateau, so uh, like Rage of Plateau is a main uh, attribute, main skill for Tohar, Tohar Legion gains uh, Undialing and Shelter, Undialing counterattack damage taken minus 5% and Shelter defense plus 15%, so basically you are getting more tanky. Uh, whenever you are casting this skill, uh, the plateau, uh, you are receiving like res counterattack damage. You are more tanky. Uh, you have defense, uh, more defense. Also, your units deal more damage. Like there is a synergy. I'm not gonna say it's a good one or bad one simply because uh, it's a new stuff. It's a unique, and we need to see how it actually works. Uh, I have not tried it, I have not seen anybody try it, so like time will tell, and of course in the future, if interest will be, I will make a guide about Tohar and Bertrand one by one, right? Uh, so the uh, Awakening skill, after Tohar finishes channeling Rage of Plateau, his Legion gains keen attack 15, 35% for 3 seconds. So like, as, as I say, I, I don't see Tohar being a... Um, primary un primary hero for a battlefield uh, action. For battlefield, he will be a uh, secondary unit. Uh, like all the skill sets are pretty real. I understand that whole skill set is uh, played around the range of plateau. But as a major hero, having a five like channeling skill and you are getting more defense, like counter attack damage reduction up to 50%, then you are getting keen. So, yeah, it's interesting. Uh, let's see, like, uh, I, sp I spoke regarding Bertrand, right? Like, what kind of hero pairs, but uh, for Tohar, I have no clue. Honestly, whichever uh, hero will make Tohar to stay alive longer, I guess, right? 
um, and the hero, like, mage hero, like, that is, like, I don't know, Waldir, simply because the shield factor, right, 600 shield factor, uh, rather than that, mage heroes, which are give, giving you more defense and more viability, uh, like, if Bertrand is giving some more uh, defense, I don't know, but, like, only, only defense which Bertrand is getting is uh, attack and defense bonus up to 15%, so, it's interesting, right, uh, I have no clue, I won't gonna have any guesses regarding Tohar's uh, uh, hero pairs, like, only thing I'm thinking, like, if the damage, the damage is ticking, you can pair it with uh, Alwyn, and uh, again, uh, ticking damage of the poison of Alwyn, uh, if you want to stay alive, well, only Waldir is giving you the shield factor, right, uh, like, 600, uh, but, like, any mage hero kind of works with each other, so I think we will find a solution for Tohar too. Uh, so, we are having two new uh, legendary mage heroes, which are both very interesting. Also, we have a lot of updates regarding whole game, new artifacts, new, new updates, visual updates, so, like, I will be adding more content to the game. So, thanks for watching. If you want to see more uh, content by me, uh, feel free to subscribe, uh, like the content, uh, and if you have like any ideas or any wishes or like you have different view rather than me, feel free to share it on the comment section and I will try my best to after it. Thanks for watching, bye bye and see you very soon.